Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll see how to use the data table component using PrimeNG. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javainews.com. So go to the AngularJS section, Angular 2 tutorials. So previously we had seen how to get started with PrimeNG. Here we had just seen how to install the environment and get started. In one of the other tutorials we had seen we had created a hello world application using different PrimeNG components like the confirmation box, text box, the input box. So this is that tutorial that we had done. So here if you will see, we had created different components, uh, PrimeNG components and we had ran this program. You can see this uh, video here. In this tutorial we are going to see how to create the data table grid using PrimeNG. If we go to the PrimeNG component, here in the data section, we will see these are the different uh, components provided by PrimeNG. So we are going to look at the data table component. So data table displays data in a tabular format, in this format. So PrimeNG has already provided quite a bit of documentation. So using this documentation, I have created similar data table for uh, the use case of uh, employees. So let's begin with the implementation. Go to the Singular 2 Prime NG tutorial. Create a Hello World application using Data Table Grid. So before we start developing our application, we need to configure our development environment. We need Node and npm installed for this tutorials. In one of the previous tutorial, the first one, I have shown how to install Node and npm. So let's begin with the implementation part for this. So create a, a project folder named as Prime NG. So we have created a folder named as PrimeNG. Next we'll create the uh, tsconfig.json which configures the TypeScript compiler. Create the javascript file named as systemconfig.js which loads the application and library module. Next we create the package.json which will be having the PrimeNG dependencies. So here we have added the PrimeNG dependencies and also the other dependencies that we require. Next we'll run the npm install so that all these dependencies they get downloaded. So go to command prompt. You will run the command npm install. So it will begin installing all the packages that we have defined in the uh, JSON uh, package.json file. So let this run till that time we'll create the other files. Now we'll start creating our application specific files. So uh, first create an app folder and inside the app folder create the employees folder. Inside it create a folder named as employees. In the employees folder, we'll first be creating the employees.ts. So this will be the column names that we want to display in the data table. Next, we'll create the employee service. So the employee service, it loads data from the uh, 
uh, employees-medium.json so here we have specified some uh, hard coded data for our uh, data table so it loads this Next, go to the app folder again. So, we'll be uh, creating the remaining files here. We'll first be creating the employee-medium.json. Uh, so, this is the data that will display in the uh, data table. Next, we'll create the Angular 2 component in the TypeScript file called as app.component.ts. We create a root, root component named as user app component here. So here we have created the component and the selector we have used here is my app. So this will use in the index.html. Also we will be using the template uh, app.component.html. Next we'll define the template app.component.html. After we have created a root, root component along with its template, we need to tell Angular to load it using Bootstrap. Uh, so we'll do this using the app.module.ts. Finally, we bootstrap the app module that we have just created in the main.ts. Next, we create the index.html. In the index.html, we will be using the my app selector which we have defined in the app.component.ts file here. So the index.html will be creating it in the prime ng folder. So these are the only changes required. So here we have seen that the dependencies they have been uh, installed. So now you can run the command npm start here. So our uh, data grid it has been loaded. We can see here uh, that all these columns they can be arranged in ascending and descending order by selecting uh, the column that we want to configure accordingly. Similarly we can add any record here. So the record it will get added here. We can also modify the value by selecting any record and uh, using that value. So I hope you have understood this tutorial. The source code for this tutorial it can be downloaded from here. Thank you.